Well, in this short tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to access the West Belk calendar that Chris Olson is sharing out with you. This is really applicable for any type of shared calendar. First thing we need to do is get into our calendar from our Gmail. To get into the calendar, simply click on the calendar link on the top of the page there. You should see a calendar that's been added that says Chris Olson right there. This is the West Belk calendar. If it's not showing up on the list, simply type in Chris's name, Chris Olson. Go ahead and click on that and it will automatically add it to the list there. If you'd like to turn it off, simply click on the uh, little box there and it will turn it off. You can turn it on and turn it off as you wish. You can also change the color of the calendar to whatever color you'd like it to, to look like. It's entirely up to you. So I'm going to choose that color there. If I want to add notifications so that when Chris makes updates, changes things, or deletes things into the calendar, this will send me an email update uh, notification. Just simply click on the calendar drop down there, go to where it says reminders and notifications. And then all you have to do is check mark these three boxes. New events are created, changed events, and canceled events. So you can check mark all three of those specific boxes and then click save. And this will provide you with an email notification when something is deleted, changed, or added to that specific calendar. And if you want to actually change the name of the calendar here from Chris's name, simply click on the drop down arrow, click on calendar settings, and this you can go ahead and type in and West calendar. And again, this is a specific setting for you and no one else. And then click save and it will show up as Belk and West calendar right there. Now, if you'd like to declutter this a little bit, if you don't like this specific view, you can very easily go to the top of your calendar settings here and take it off of, put it on a month view if you'd like, a four day view if you'd like, or a just an individual day view. I specifically like the week view. This is a little more uh, easy for me to see. And if I have calendar events set up on my own calendar here, I can very easily see them and the other calendar that I have underneath other calendars.